Hello friends, how are you? Welcome to Japan Study Center. Today we are going to see the chapter of geography and what is our topic today? Biosphere. The biosphere is the first point arrived there. This is the most important biosphere and it is a limit. There is a first point for this chapter. And there is a, in a simpler term is a biosphere referred to the narrow zone. It is a similar term is a biosphere referred to the narrow zone of the earth is which all life for exit. The all life is form of exit. Do you know why the life become a possible? It is a zone. There is a most important question here. Do you know why the life become a possible in the zone? It is a because this zone in which all the three essentially things which is required as a substances of life are found to the right mixture. There are the land, lithosphere, air is atmosphere and the water is hydrosphere. The life is possible because here present of three types of mixture here. The first year, land. Second year, the air. And third year, water. What? The geographical is a term here. Lithosphere is a land and the atmosphere is the air and the water is a hydrosphere. In other words, this is a narrow zone is the place where a lithosphere, atmosphere and hydrosphere is a meet. We must be appreciate that how to narrow this zone is. They stand vertically into there is atmosphere to about 10 km downward into the ocean to depth about 10.5 km and into about 27,000 feet of the earth as a surface where a maximum living organism have been found. There is some life form which are found in the stem means the condition. Two examples of this type are algae and thermophile. The algae which is supposed to be one of the earliest form of life can exist even in the most hostile environment such as a frozen Antarctica. The one the other extremely side is the thermophiles. Heat leave is a loving is a bacteria usually is a habitat deep sea Baconic and the ones have into temperature of more than 300 Celsius. In fact, this bacteria can be not a survive in a temperature below the boiling point. That is the most important. This bacteria is not survive here a boiling point. That is important here. The situation was not like this when the life form began about a seven. 100 million years ago, it is believed to have been to only a narrow discordance has a land is composing to the only slow show is a part of the oceans. As for the ter term of the expansion of the area in the terms of the ability of life form, it can be predicted that maybe after a few millions year. The expenses of the biosphere get extended is below this upper stratosphere and this shows that the biosphere has been to the involvings over the time. Till now we have a discuss about their vertically expansion but horizontally there is a biosphere cover there is an entire globe. Through the life may be not be possible in some of the hottest and the coldest part. There is important here. There is not a life may be possible in some hottest and the coldest apart. However, most living things are confined to be a narrow band which is a permit there is a capture of the solar energy. Through their process of the photosynthesis which is similar for any organic life. And this narrow distance extends from about 180 to 200 feet below the sea level to be highest value of snow line in a tropical and subtropical mountain range. They say there are 6550 meter above the sea level. Where it is extend behind this is a line life from become very limited. There is an important part here. There is the this narrow region extend from about 180 to 200 
फीड्स बिलो द सी लेवल टू द हाइएस्ट वैल्यू ऑफ द स्नो लाइन्स इन अ ट्रॉपिकल एंड सब ट्रॉपिकल माउंटेन रेंज वेन इज टेंड टू द व्यू ऑइंट दिस इज अ लाइन लाइफ फ्रॉम बिकम वेरी लिमिटेड एंड देर इज अ मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट हेयर Here show the most important diagram here biosphere biosphere here show in the diagram there is center point there is a covered with the lithosphere atmosphere and hydrosphere there is a most important ground diagram for the exam view note down and there is a biosphere is show in this center point the one next topic is the most important here the component of the biosphere there is a most important question here the components of biosphere the component of biosphere here biosphere has a three basic component the only three basic component of the biosphere the first is biotic biotic mean physical and inorganic substance and second is here there is a component and second bio biotic biotic mean there is a organic components and third component here energy component the let us discuss about there are three component in the detail there is a most important here I repeat again, the first component is the most important biotic. There is included of physical and inorganic component, and second biotic organic component, and third is energy component. Let us discuss here. Is the most important here. The first point here, biotic component. There are detail here. This component is a bodily is a consist of all. non living element which are uh, initially for the survival of all living organism and these are lithosphere solid part of the earth crust and the atmosphere and the hydrosphere here the biotic component and mineral nutrition content to gas and water are three basic requirement of organic life the soil and the sediments constitute there is a chief resource of mineral is a nutrient and atmosphere is a consist there a chief reserve of the gas is essential for the organic life ocean is a constitute that is a chief reserve of the liquid water and where all this is a three reserves intermangles and there it is become the most fertile area from organic life the upper layer of the soil and so part of the ocean constitute their most important area the bulk sustain organic life the upper layer of the soil and permits say is a penetration of the gases and the precolations of the moisture will be show part of the ocean allowed to the penetration of the sunlight intermediates of the dis dissolved gases and the nutrient from land surface and the oceans bottom that is the most important land surface and ocean bottoms The next here biotic component. There is a most important part here, biotic component. The biotic component here, plants, animals, and human beings, including microorganism, constitute there are three biotic component of environment. In a way, this can be called the three sub system. The three sub system is the most important. The first here, plants. The plants are most important among to the biotic component, and there are only primary producer as the produce their own food through the process of photosynthesis. There is a plants is the most important. There is a primary producer. There is a produce of the food or when there is a process of photosynthesis, and then there is called to the autotroph. there is called to the autotroph because there is a self making of food of the photosynthesis process not only plant along to the produce all kind of organic matter but also is help in the recycling and recycling of organic matter and nutrient there is an important point here there is a help in the cycling and recycling of organic matter and nutrient thus the plant are the major source of food as well as energy for all organism there is a biotic component is the first point is the most important here and second point here animals the animals here is the most important where the plant are a primary producer the plant is a primary producer the animal are the main consumer the animal is a consumer here there is the animal as a heterotroph there is the animals are heterotrophs and there are three main function of animals two use of organic matter made uh, available by the plant of food and second here uh, to transform for the food into the energy and third here uh, utilize the energy for a growth and development 
दैट इज अ मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एयर द थर्ड पॉइंट इज अ मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एयर माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म द माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म इज अ मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर एयर एंड कॉम्पोनेट एयर दिस कंसिस्ट ऑफ द वराइटी ऑफ माइक्रो बैक्टीरिया लाइक अ फंग एसेट्रा एंड देर इज अ नंबर आर अनलिमिटेड एंड द प्रॉपरली नोन एज द डिकम्पोजर यू नो दैट देर इज अ डिकम्पोजर एयर एज द नेम सुगैसे दिस ऑर्गेनिक डिकम्पोजर देर आर डेड प्लांट एंड एनिमल एंड अदर ऑर्गेनिक मैटर्स इट इज थॉट दिस इज अ प्रोसेस देर इज ऑफ देर आर फूड थ्रू दिस प्रोसेस ऑफ डिकम्पोजिशन देर डिफरेंटेड टू एंड सेपरेट द कॉम्प्लेक्स ऑर्गेनिक मैटर सो दैट देर आर सम कुड बी अ पुट टू बी रीयूज बाय द प्राइमरी प्रोड्यूसर द प्लांट देर इज अ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म प्रोसेसिंग एयर देर इज अ मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द डिकम्पोजर फॉर द एनिमल एंड प्लांट एयर The next air is sea air energy. The sea energy is the most important air. This is the third and vital component of the biosphere. Without which the life could not be has been be possible on this planet. There is an important air. The third and the vital component of the biosphere air. And here not has been to possible on this planet is the life. It is simply for the generation and deep protection of all of biological life on this planet. All the organism in there is a biosphere are like a machines which is use energy to the work and also we convert one form to the energy to the another. There is an important here. But do you know the source such as energy required for the functioning of the biosphere? Sun is the major source of energy without which we can not think about the extremities of the biosphere. There is a most important point here. The next important topic here ecology and ecosystem there is a most important topic here ecology and ecosystem the ecology is the study of the interaction between to the organism and their environment and now there is ecologist feel that the two component of the nature the organism and the environmental are not only related but both this component is a function in the ordinary manner as a defined system in fact the two components organism and environment are not are distracted for a particular organism other organism can be constituted as the part of its environment similarly environment can be also be a modified and influenced by their organism thus the organism and environment are interacting part of system okay there is a most important here ecology and ecosystem there is a most important their ecology is the study of interaction between the organic and their environment and eco system there is a field that a two component of the natures the organic and environment there is important here in fact two component organism environmental is not distracted for a particular organism other organism can be consist a part of it is a environment and similarly environment can be also modified and influenced by their organism that's the organism and environment are interacting part of a system therefore the term of eco ecosystem is now used to be describe such a system the word ecosystem is a short form of ecological system the term was a first used by the ag tensel in the 1935 and ecosystem can be defined as a system of regularly interactings and interdependent component forming of unified wall in other word any segment of the landscape that include to biotic a biotic component is known as the ecosystem what is ecosystem here in other word any segment of the landscape that include a biotic a biotic component is known as the ecosystem if all it is a component are integrated with each other for example a lake or pond is on ecosystem when it is a consider in it is a totality and there are not just a water body in that a sea pond is a representative of a small ecosystem and biosphere is a consider as the largest ecosystem the basically the concept of revolves around the two accept the first year it is a study of interaction among to the various component and sub component and 
There is a second here, flow of energy among to various component of ecosystem, which is the stimulus to determine of the how our biological community function. There is a two types. There is the most important here and important also here the diagram. Here show the diagram energy flow of the ecosystem. The first of all starting to their solar energy or surface is the soil. There is the most important and the next here. The support here is a heronovirus, carinovirus, omnivorous and there is a dead body of the plants and there are hydrothorus is the important. As suddenly it goes here, the here over to there is a dead is bodies, is a virus, bacteria and fungi and there is a decomposed. There is a most important flow of energy in the ecosystem. The diagram is a blur but is the most important you search of flow of energy in the ecosystem. Come there is a diagram on your screen. Therefore, if the study of functional uh, sap of the ecosystem, then we say maybe they study it is the term of flowing. The energy flow, food chain, nutrition and bio, geochemical cycle and development and the evolution, control mechanism and cybernetics and diversity is a pattern in time and space. Space and let us study each as component of the where if there is a most important area is the energy flow and the food chain. The first year of flow of energy in the ecosystem. There is a most important point here flow of energy in ecosystem. As I discussed earlier, that a continuous uh, interaction goes on within a ecosystem. And this interaction between the component and subcomponent involves their flow of energy and cycling of the mineral nutrients. A generalized to the di diagrammatic representation of energy and mineral is a moment and give a above. The, the figure is the most important show here. The next. In this process, the transfer of energy takes place from one level to another. And this now as the trophic level. The trophic level is the most important here. The energy is a one level to other level is goes based there is a call to the tropics level and therefore tropic level is the level of the stage at which the full energy passes from one group to others and to understand in a better manner we have discussed a food chain and it is associated with the activities in a biosphere there is a bodily is a two groups of living organism the first here autotrophs and second is a heterotrophics and on this base of the food habit, this is heterotrophic is a further divided into three categories. The three category here is the most important. They are uh, herbivorous, carnivorous, and omnivorous. There is the three types as the most important here. And herbivorous are plant eating animal, and carnivorous is a flesh eating animal, and omnivorous is a both plant and animal eater organism. There is the most important point here. The herbivorous are plants eating or animals and coronavirus of flesh eating animal and omnivorous is the both plant and animal eaters organism the next year of food chain cycle there is a most important food chain for the ninth class student and the plus two also let us now to the understand what is a food chain first of all there is question in your mind the what is a food chain the food chain can be defined as the sequence of transfer of energy from org organism to one tropical level to those is a other tropical level. Sun is the major source of energy. It is a help in the growth of the plant and the soil are the water bodies. The plant from this basis of the food for large number of herbivores. And these herbivores are used as a food substance for a carnivores. Besides there is a omnivorous who feed on the plant as well as the animal flesh. The solar energy is absorbed by the soil is reflected in the form of plants and animals. And this organism have a limited cycles and they die after some time. The one this organism die another group or organism start there is a functioning as they feed on the dead materials. And they help are decomposing the dead bodies of plants and animals on release the Energy which is again absorbed by the soil to the to the production of plant and thus the cycle is complete. The above said of food chain are very simple food chain but food chain are not a, a way so simple and the isolated to sequence. Several interconnected and the overlapping food chain present as a complicated pattern. Such pattern is called to the food web. The food web is the most important for the exam view. 
द फूड वेब इज अ सर्वर इंटरकोनेक्टेड एंड ओवरलेपिंग ऑफ फूड चैन प्रजेंट एज अ कॉम्प्लीकेटेड पैटर्न दैट इज कॉल्ड टू द फूड वेब हेयर शो द फूड वेब फूड वेब इज द डिफरेंट ऑफ द वेब ऑफ एयर स्पाइडर देर इज अ डिफरेंट शो इन दिस डायग्राम देर इज अ मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फूड वेब शो इन दिस फिगर नाउ लेट आर सी वट आर द वेरियस टॉपिकल लेवल हेयर एज वी हैव डिस्कस एर्लियर सन आर सोलर एनर्जी इज अ सोर्स फॉर ऑल द प्लांट फॉर प्रिपरेशन ऑफ देर फूड द एनर्जी विच इज स्टोर बाय द प्लांट इज नोन एज अ ट्रॉपिकल लेवल देर इज इंपॉर्टेंट हेयर द ट्रॉपिकल लेवल हेयर द एनर्जी विच इज स्टोर बाय द प्लांट इज नोन एज अ ट्रॉपिकल लेवल वन इट्स बिकम देर इज अ सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी फॉर अ हेरोस देर फॉर ट्रांसफर ऑफ एनर्जी फ्रॉम ट्रॉपिकल लेवल वन टू ट्रॉपिकल लेवल टू एंड टेक प्लेस बेन द प्लांट ईटिंग एनिमल्स इज अ कंज्यूम दिस प्लांट एंड अगेन दिस केमिकल एनर्जी थ्रू द फूड्स कंज्यूम बाय द एरोस गेट अ स्टोर एट अ ट्रॉपिकल लेवल टू एंड बिकम अ सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी फ्रॉम अ कॉर्नोवरस एट द ट्रॉपिकल लेवल थ्री द कैर्नोवरस आर फ्लैश ईटिंग एनिमल एंड डिपेंड अपॉन टू द एनिमल फॉर अ फूड एंड दिस एनिमल रिक्वायर टू लॉट ऑफ एनर्जी फॉर अ बिल्डिंग देर अ टिश्यू एंड दे रिसीव देर एनर्जी फ्रॉम अ ट्रॉपिकल लेवल टू थ्रू द फूड कंजप्शन A part of there is a chemical energy from the level of third that is important here. A part of the chemical energy from a, this level third of the food chain is a transfer to the omnivores at their tropical level fourth, and therefore the omnivores are at the top level of the food chain, which receive their energy from all the three levels. So, in a food chain, is a member at the successive higher level of become a. Smaller in a number. When the numbers at the successive level are plotted, they assume the shape of the pyramid, and as it is the call for for the pyramidal or pyramidal numbers on their figure. Here show the most important diagram. The top level here, the energy is a plant or show here of ten thousand energy for here. But the next go to the as a One thousand and the other is goes back to the here, or the only four at hundred and the next goes with the ten and the last the human beings there is a one percent energy is consumed here. There is a most important uh, energy flow here chart and their important diagram the clear for your understanding on their question. The number of organism at the tropical level depend upon to ability of the food at its a low. Lower level with increasing our uh, ability of food at the lower level, there is the consequent increasing the number of variety of organism at the higher tropical levels. Thus, the ability of food it is a main factor which uh, maintain the ground balance of nature, and this balance is dynamic and the fluctuate within the container limit. So, the every ecosystem has its own system of the mechanism to be a uh, control the balance, and this happen because In a ecosystem, there are is contained to the inherent process which is the nutrient or materials are transfer. So, time in the single direction and some is the time in the cycles. Let us discuss some of these cycles here. The next year is the natural bio geochemical cycle. There is the most important cycle here, bio geochemical cycle. The bio geochemical cycle is a biologically, geologically, and chemical interaction. There is a three factor here is in include here are the nothing but there is a moment and circulation of the soluble inorganic substance is a nutrients drive from a soil and atmospheric phase of inorganic substance and through there is organic phase of various biotic components similarly a return circulation and moment of organic substance take place in the favor of inorganic objects such as a soil and atoms fear thus these two system are supplementary to the each other and complete the cycle the study of biochemical cycle can be approach one two cycles and cycling of all element together and cycling of invisible element and hydrological hydrological cycle is a carbon cycle nitrogen cycle and phosphorus cycle oxygen cycle and sulfur cycle etc Besides, the cycle is a sediment 
cycle and mineral cycles are also included in this is border biochemical cycle and this natural or biochemical cycle is a function in a balanced manner which are stabilized a biosphere and the sustain their life process on the earth if we are disturb them it is will be lead to the various negative consequence which is the ultimate effect of the biosphere let us discuss some of these cycles in the very this cycle is already discussed in the lesson 9 on this book but here but I discuss the related to the biosphere is environment you can defer the cycles which is given to the detail under lesson 9 there is an important lesson here the first year the hydrological cycle the hydrological cycle there is an important year and this cycle helps the exchange of water between two air land sea living plants and the animal solar energy used to drive the hydrological cycle and massive is in evaporation of water from the ocean cloud formation and the rainfall give us our supply and the reserve of the fresh water there is important air fresh water at the sub zero temperature rain water of freeze into the snow and disperses of strong wind from a hill water is the rain is the snow is a hill is a precipitated on the land and water surface on the land surface water seeps into the soil and is stored as a ground water the natural water level of the water table exists below the ground the water table is uh, supported by the underlying clay and the rock star the ground water is not be remained a static but is a move in the various direction it's move up to throw the cap capillaries action and which is soil surface where it is a draw by plants roots the next year the nitrogen cycle the nitrogen and is a com compound are initially for the life process in the biosphere there is a continued exchange of the nitrogen within the ecosystem operating the nitrogen cycle and protein produced by the plant and animal in their metabolic process are organic compound of nitrogen the major load of nitrogen organic reduce in the soil originate from to death and decline of the plant except to the of animals and this organic reduce in the soil are the taken by by the various soil microorganism as a who break down in the soil nitrate into the nitrogen by the dentrification process the dentrification process is the most important here the breakdown of the soil nitrate to the nitrogen by the processing of dentrification process will the other transfer of nitrogen into the soluble nitrogen compounds the next year the carbon cycle the carbon cycle is the most important year the carbon cycle is a very important chemical cycle the atmosphere is the minor reserve of the carbon hydrosphere is the major reserve which is contained to the approximately 50 times more as a that of atmosphere it is a store of bio is a biocarbonate is a mineral deposit on the ocean floor the latter is a re regulate the carbon dioxide level in the atmosphere the cycle operate in the form of carbon dioxide exchange among to the atmosphere biosphere and other oceans the next topic is the most important here types of ecosystem there is a most important here types of ecosystem here the ecosystem can be classified into the various types on various basis the various basis is important here the most widely used as a simple classification is on the basis of habitats the idea is if you have this is a classification is that is each is a habitat's exhibit is a particularly physical environmental condition and this condition determine their nature and characteristics of the biotic communities and therefore there are a capitals variation in the biotic communities on this basis the ecosystem can be broadly be divided as the terrestrial ecosystem and aquatic ecosystem this ecosystem are further subdivided into the various subtypes we will be discuss a very about the two ecosystem and there are subtypes there is important here the types of ecosystem here the first here terrestrial ecosystem there is a most important terrestrial ecosystem as the name of suggestion is a cover the entire 29% of the land area found on the earth surface 
the tertiary ecosystem are the major source of food and the raw materials for human beings here the plant and animal communities are more diversified than the aquatic ecosystem the land organism has have a greater range of the terrains than the aquatic ecosystem but in some case water is a limiting factor for terrestrial ecosystem as for a productivity is concerned a terrestrial ecosystem are more productivity than aquatic ecosystem the important territory ecosystem here the above said to discussion is the comparison between territory and aquatic ecosystem in a generally but there are further variation in the terrestrial ecosystem in the term of physical condition and there is response to the biotic communities therefore the terrestrial ecosystem are further subdivided into various subtypes the major subtypes are upland or mountain ecosystem lowland ecosystem desert ecosystem etc and these sub systems may be a further sub divided depending on the specific purpose and the objectives is a maximum the life form are found in the low land and they keep on the decreasing with increasing in a high as the level of oxygen and atmospheric pressure decrease there is important here the second here aquatic ecosystem the aquatic ecosystem is the most important here this ecosystem refer to the 71% of the water present on the earth surface in the various form there is important point here the ecosystem refer to the 71% of the water present on the earth surface in the various form like a tertiary ecosystem aquatic ecosystem can be further divided into the various subtypes but the major subdivision of this ecosystem may be fresh water estuaries and marine again this ecosystem can be further subdivided into the small one if we see the in terms of the extent or what we call in the geographics in the term of scale it is a range from open sea to a small pond the variation within the various type of aquatic ecosystems are mainly related to be abiotic factor the abiotic factor is the most important here but there are also variation in the term of biotic communities that are living within the this ecosystem and why are this variation here the important question here as i discussed earlier the limiting factor is aquatic ecosystem are the depth up to which the sunlight can be penetrate the availability of the nutrient and the concentration is a dissolved oxygen if we keep all this factor into the considerations it is the form that is a estuarine ecosystem and the most productivity of aquatic ecosystem in a marine through the open oceans are a most that the extensive is the area there is important here in a marine ecosystem shallow cont continental shallow there is a more productivity than one open ocean and through the open ocean are a most extensive in area they are the least productivity of all ecosystem like the desert it is a territorial ecosystem there is important point the another aspect which is the determinant of diversity of life in aquatic ecosystem is the adaptability of organism some of the organism exclusively live in a water namely is of feces and whereas some of the organism are the amphibious in a nature some of the important amphibians are frog crocodile hippopotamus and the variety of aquatic birds again with the water some organism live only in the either fresh water saline and water some organism live in the both fresh water and saline water hisophis is on the example of the later types the endoderms and the colostrate lives only in the saline water and there are various type of fishes like a uh, rohu katla as extra found on in a fresh water there is a most important example here the next topic is the most important here global climatic change there is an important here global climatic change what do you mean to the here a global climatic change we have a read under to bio geochemical a cycle that for the last of billion year or so earth as atmosphere and the hydrosphere has been to the 
कंपोज ऑफ अप्रोक्सीमेटली देर इज सम बैलेंस ऑफ केमिकल कॉम्पोनेंट इन द लिविंग विद टूडे यू नो दैट देर इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट हेयर द अर्थ इज अटमोस्फेयर एंड द एटमोस्फेयर हैज बीन द कंपोज ऑफ अप्रोक्सीमेटली देर इज सेम बैलेंस ऑफ केमिकल कॉम्पोनेंट्स वी लिव विद टूडे द अर्थ हैज ए यूनिक मेकानिजम फॉर द स्टेबिलाईजिंग एंड कंट्रोलिंग द ग्लोबल क्लाइमेट दर इज इंपॉर्टेंट द अर्थ हैज ए यूनिक मेकानिजम फॉर द स्टेबिलाईजिंग एंड द कंट्रोलिंग द ग्लोबल क्लाइमेट एंड दिस मेकानिजम आर फ्लोइंग द मेकानिजम इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट लेस सी द मेकानिजम है द फर्स्ट मेकानिजम द प्लांट एंड एनिमल बैलेंस टू द कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड लेवल ऑफ द ऑटमोस्फेयर विच इज ट्वाइन एक्ट ऑफ ग्लोबल थर्मोस्टेट देर इज इंपॉर्टेंट एयर प्लांट एंड एनिमल बैलेंस टू कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड लेवल ऑफ द एटमोस्फेयर विच इज द ट्वेंस एक्ट ऑफ ग्लोबल थर्मोस्टेट इट्स मीन दिस इज एलिमेंट कंट्रोल द टेम्परेचर बैलेंस विद इन द ऑप्टिम लिमिट देर इज इंपॉर्टेंट इट मीन दिस इज एलिमेंट इज अ कंट्रोल द टेम्परेचर बैलेंस विद इन द ऑप्टिम लिमिट्स एंड द वाटर बॉडीज प्ले द इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन द रेगुलेटिंग ग्लोबल क्लाइमेट द वाटर बॉडीज प्ले द इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन अ रेगुलेटेड अ ग्लोबल क्लाइमेट इन डिसेंट ईयर द रेपिडली ग्रोथ ऑफ ह्यूमन पॉपुलेशन द रेट एट विच वी आर कंज्यूम द अर्थ एज अ रिसोर्स द एक्स्ट्रा वेगेंट लाइफ स्टाइल सेक्ट्रा द लीड टू द सब कॉन्टिनेंट इंक्रीजिंग देर इज अ कार्बन लेवल ऑफ एटमोसफियर विच हैज असल रेट द प्रोसेस ऑफ क्लाइमेटिक चेंज देर इज इंपॉर्टेंट एयर लेट आज डिस्कस सम ऑफ द प्रोसेस इफेक्टिंग द क्लाइमेटिकल चेंज हेयर द फर्स्ट एयर ग्रीन हाउस इफेक्ट एंड ग्लोबल वार्मिंग देर इज इंपॉर्टेंट एयर ग्रीन हाउस इफेक्ट एंड ग्लोबल वार्मिंग द ग्लोबल वार्मिंग रिफर टू द ग्रेजुअली राइस ऑफ द ऑटमोस्फेरिक टेम्परेचर एंड कॉन्सिक्वेंट चेंज इन द रेडिएशन बैलेंस मेनली ड्यू द ह्यूमन एक्शन देर इज इंपॉर्टेंट एयर चेंज इन द रेडिएशन बैलेंस इज मेनली ड्यू टू द ह्यूमन एक्शन लीडिंग टू द क्लाइमेटिक चेंज एट डिफरेंट लेवल्स द लोकल रीजनल एंड ग्लोबल लोकल रीजनल एंड ग्लोबल हेयर एज परसेंट इज एस्टिमेट इट इज दैज बीन टू फॉर्म दैट इज अ सरफेस एयर टेम्परेचर ओवर टू द पास्ट हंड्रेड ईयर हैज बीन इंक्रीजिंग बाई अबाउट अ जीरो पॉइंट फाइव सेल्सियस टू जीरो पॉइंट सेवन सेल्सियस डू यू नाउ वाइट इज अ हैपनिंग एंड दिस ड्यू टू द ग्रीन हाउस इफेक्ट टू हैज बीन बेटर अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द ग्लोबल वार्मिंग We shall now that is the functioning of greenhouse in the see the box. There is important here working of greenhouse here. So here is the working of the greenhouse. The important here working of greenhouse. In cold countries, a greenhouse is a mean of plants where a total heat, especially during the winter season, is not a sufficient to support a plant growth. The transparent wall and roof of the greenhouse are such that. This allow to the visible sunlight to enter, but prevent the long wave radiation to go out. Thus, the sunlight is the absorbed by the soil and structure of the greenhouse. It is the re-emitted as the heat, which is the cannot be passed through the glass. The amount of energy in the greenhouse thus then increasing until it is the temperature is a high enough for the slight leakage of heat. Through the glass to be a take away as a such a energy as a get in a sunlight. There is an important here. The slight leakage of the heat through the glass to be take away as much a energy as get in a sunlight. Subsequently, the wall or roof are emit absorbed to the radiation into the house, and thus to, during the day and time infrared radiation. Pass into the greenhouse and warm the atmosphere, and there are ground on which there is a greenhouse stands. The coating of glass with a known heat radiation film transparent to the sunlight further as a maximize heating effect of the radiation. There is a most important point here. Therefore, if our Earth has become a greenhouse, then there are antenna or gases which act like the glass panel of greenhouse. along the sun as a ray to the pass through a put up preventing the heat from the scaping into the outer 
स्पेस एंड देयर बाय द वार्मिंग द एटमोस्फेयर दिस इज अपिंग ड्यू टू द डिफोरेस्टेशन एंड इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन एंड दिस गैस आर कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड सी ओ टू एंड मिथिन सी एच फोर नाइट्रस ऑक्साइड इज एन एक्स एन ओ एक्स एंड देर इज अ क्लोरोफ्लोरो कार्बन सी एफ सी एंड एन एस नाउ एज द ग्रीन हाउस गैसेज आउट ऑफ दिस फोर गैसेज कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड कंट्रीब्यूट अबाउट फिफ्टी फाइव परसेंट द कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड And chlorophyll carbon contribute about a twenty four percent, and methane about a fifteen percent, and nitrate oxide about a six percent to about to the heating of the atmosphere. Do you know that the source of these gases? There is a most important question. Do you know that the source of these gases? That these gases is a mainly as here burning of fossil fuel and fireboards. The burning of fossil fuel. and firewood a large fleet of the automobiles a number of factories emit to the carbon dioxide the growing up paddles livestock and waste dumps and coal mining are the major source of methane you know that there is an important point here the growing up paddles livestock and waste dumps and the coal mines are the major source of methane the use of the aerosol as the colorant and refrigerator and Air conditioning is a device release of chlorophyll carbon. The important point here: aerosol is a coal ant and refrigerator and air condition device release of chlorophyll carbon. Chlorophyll carbon is a CFC into the atmosphere. The nitrate oxide is mainly emit from to the chemical industries and due to the deforestation and the contained agriculture practice. Construction of greenhouse in the temperate region. help the plant is a protect protections and the ecologically balance whereas the concentration of green house gas on the earth as a atmosphere upset the earth as biological system the next year <coughs> consequence of green house effect there is a consequence of green house effect there is an important here the first point consequence here it is estimate that if the present rate of increasing of carbon dioxide co2 the level of continues it is with the result in the rise of atmospheric temperature by 2 celsius to 3 celsius by end of 21st century there is an important point here it is similar that if the present rate of increasing in a co2 level continents continues it will be a result in the rise of atmospheric temperature by 2 celsius to 3 celsius by end of 21st century and this will be result in the reduced receding of many glacier melting of ice caps in the polar region and disappearance of deposit of ice on the other part of the world in a large scale according to the estimate if all the ice on the earth would be a melt about a 60 meter of the water would be added to be surface of all ocean and low lying coastal area A rise in the sea level of only fifty to hundred centimeter, causing by the global warming, would be flow flood low lying so area of the world such as Bangladesh, the West Bengal, as well as the densely is a populated coastal cities from the Shanghai to the San Francisco. There is an important point here. The third point is important, but first of all, our second point here. because of increasing of concentration of carbon dioxide and due to the much of warmer tropical ocean there may be occur a more cyclone and inverse earlier snow melt in the mountain will be case of more flood during the monsoon according to the united nation environmental programs unep the national environmental program here unep with Within the about the three is a decade rising level of sea will be able to and flood coastal cities like Mumbai, Boston, Asitagang and the Malina. There is a important point here. The third is important here. A sign increase in a global temperature can be addresses affect the world food production and thus the beet production is zone in the north latitudes will be. Safety to the north of temperate latitude, and the fourth point is important also. 
the biological productivity of the ocean would be also de decreased due to the warming of the surface layer the biological productivity of the ocean would be also decreased due to the warming of the surface layer and which is a turn to reduce the transport of nutrient from to deeper layers to the surface by vertical circulation that is important an important point is arrive here control and remedies of measuring of greenhouse effect so here come to the control and remedies measure of greenhouse effect the following measuring may be adopted to the reduce the ever increasing of greenhouse effect you know that the measuring may be adopted to the reduce the ever greenhousing greenhouse as effect here the first year carbon dioxide is a concentration can be reduced by the drastic cut in the consumption of the fossil fuel in the highly developed and industrialized is a countries like usa and japan and the developing country like china and the india there is important here carbon dioxide concentration can be reduced by drastic cut into the consumption of fossil fuel in the highly developed and industrialized is a country like a usa and japan and developing country like a china and india the second year scientific effort should be made to be develop a alternative efficient fuel the scientific effort should be made to be develop is alternative efficient of fuel the methane may be a substitute for the petroleum and development of hydro electric and thermal power are better alternative the development of hydro electrics and thermal power are better alternative there is important here the third point is also important there should be a restricted on the emission of the dangerous co2 and cfc and there is an two from to the factory and automobile there is an important point here there is a very dangerous carbon dioxide and chlorofluorocarbon and NO2 two there is a, NO2 is mo most important air factories and automobiles here produce and fourth they are limiting their drives today as a megacities can be another option of cities like uh, Singapore and the Mexico and flowing their uh, practice and the fifth point here in the tropical and subtropical country the solar en energy may be uh, developed as on the alternative to the fossil fuel there is an important point tropical and subtropical country their solar energy may be developed as the alternative to the fossil fuel and six points is also important here biogas plant should be used which is another source of the conventionally is energy for a domestic use there is important here biogas plant should be used which is a another source of conventionally is energy for a domestic use in enhancing to the Operations will be contained reduce the CO2 level, thereby decreasing the greenhouse effect. There is an important point. The B point here, ozone layer or depletion. There is an important here, ozone layer depletions. Before discussing about the problem of ozone layer is depletions, we should be now about the ozone and the ozone layer. Ozone is a form of oxygen that has a three atoms, CO3. Rather than the more common two atoms is O2. There is an important here. Ozone is a O3, and there is atom is a two. It is created in the upper atmosphere by the action of the solar radiation on oxygen molecules. As far as it is a position is a concern, it is found in the form of thin layer in the stratosphere between to the fifteen to forty eight kilometer. About to ninety percent of the all. Atmospheric ozone is found in the layer. Ozone constitutes only less than zero point zero zero two percent of the volume of atmosphere. However, it is a role is a very critical as far as living on the Earth as a concern. It is strongly absorb ultraviolet radiation for the sun. Ultraviolet radiation is biologically destructive in many way. There is an important here. The ultraviolet radiation is biologically destructed in a many way. It is a skin cancer and cataract of the present there is a human human immune system. There is important here ultraviolet radiation, the causing of skin cancer and cataract of the present there is a human immune system. 
Dimensions their yard to the many crops described their aquatic food chain by the killing of microorganisms on the ocean surface and many other negative effect which is still is undiscovered there is an important point here for the exam view this is a happening due to the content of recent human activity which have a injected contain a chemical in the stratosphere which are consume ozone and the reduce it is a concentration Depletion is a many case by the chlorofluorocarbon yani CFC as a halons methyl chlorofluoro and the carbon tetrachloride and this chemical substance are mainly either is chlorine or bromine which can be react the stratosphere and the catalytically is a break down to the ozone into the oxygen chlorofluorocarbon are the odorless and no flammable and no corrosive and the non toxic for this reason is a scientific originally they believed chlorofluorocarbon could not be possible have any effect of the environment there is an important point here note down the chemical substance is mainly either to the chlorine and bromine which can react to the stratosphere and catalyze a breakdown ozone into the oxygen and chlorofluorocarbon is a odorless non flammable non corrosive and non toxic and for this reason scientists originally believe chlorofluorocarbon could not be possible as be any effect of environment there is a wrong things here and that is it is a badly use of refrigerator and the air conditioning as a form of plastic manufacturing and the aerosol spray there is an important point chlorofluorocarbon is most dangerous here but scientific there is a call to the believe there is could not a possible have any effect on the environment impossible here Not only is the zone layer is a thinking in the some place it is a temporarily disappearance a hole in the layer has devolved over to the antarctic sign 1979 and that hole has a persisted for a long and the longer time every year in 1988 on a zone is a hole there is a was the found over to the antarctic for the first time and it is a two has a lasted long and the longer each year sign then there is a important can we prevent this disaster can we prevent this disaster it is a need or contain action both at individual as well as the governmental level since the last two is a decide contain or action has been to imitate it at a global level among this is a montreal protocol of 90 It is safe on and London Conference of 1970, 1992 are the important. In both this is a conference, it was decided that the devolved country would be totally banned of chlorofluorocarbon production by 2000, and the developing country by the 2010 AD. Even it is a summary of law to the strategies is implemented by all the 150 country, including India. and the who are the signatory to the pentrel protocol even then to chlorofluorocarbon or chlorine shall be continue their influence of another 100 years and therefore all over to the world search if efforts are continuing for the development of the cons constitutive of the chlorofluorocarbon as a is a collant for the refrigerator and air conditioner the next key point is the most important here acid rain The acid rain is the most important here. The term acid rain refer to the deposition of the wet or dry acidic material from to the atmosphere on the earth as a surface. Throughout the most acoustic the associate with the rainfall the pollutant may be fall on the earth as a surface either in the form of snow. Shadow half of fog in the dry form of the gas or particulate or matter. Sulfuric acid and the nitric acid is considered as the principal agent responsible for the acid rain. The important point here: sulfuric acid and nitric acid is considered as the principal agent responsible for the acid rain. But the major is the culprit are human beings. There is an important point here: the major culprit is a are human beings. Things the smoke I emit from to the industry is a major source of Sulfur dioxide, where smog emitted from to the motor vehicle, in there a major source of nitrogen oxide. There is important point here. 
the smog emit from to the industry is there a major source of sulfur dioxide whereas to the smog emitted from to the motor vehicle is the major source of nitrogen oxide and this emissions is a mix with a atmospheric moisture from to the sulfuric acid and nitric acid which is the sonars their later is a precipitate on the earth is a various form the important point here as it is the measuring on the p scale based on the relative concentration of is a hydrogen ion the scale ranges from to 0 to the 14 where is the lower and represent extremely acidic and the upper end extremely alkaline it to see diagram as i started the earlier acid a rain is associated with there a various form of precipitation it we look at the rain, rainfall in the clean and dust free air a ph value of varied between to the 5.6 to the 6 which is the highly acidic in the nature 5.6 and 6 there is the slightly acidic of the nature highly there is a acidic nature here and wherever there is a where their ph value is below to 5.6 there are dangerous because of noticeable there is a most important here here show the ph scale that is acidic acidic here the so 0 to the here or 6.9 that is the very acidic and there is a 7 here a neutral the 7 here a neutral the normal range of the stream of ph normal is a precipitation of ph the maximum is a 5 to the 1 the acidic rain is created here and the main is a battery acid is required low ph and the lemon juice vinegar adult fish dye and fish products affected there is important increasing acidic level here and the seven is a neutral the neutral is the most important normal range of ph as a seven the seven is a neutral there is example of water there are neutral there are 7.1 to the 14 there is important for the alkaline the base here the base here the baking soda sea water milk of magnesium ammonia and the lie there is a most important here base on show the ph scale diagram here the long term effect of the acid precipitation on human health and agriculture production has not yet been observations so perceivably there is a however the most consequences of dangerous is because done to the aquatic ecosystem below the giving are some of the effect of the acid rain the ecosystem of stream or lake may be severely affected when it is the ph fall below to the 5 total biomass is such a system is reduced from 2 to 10 time because a few organism can tolerate to the acid the diversity of the sp spice is also decrease the most serve effect of the acidification on a fish as it is a condition effect their reproductive capability of fish are resulting in a slow decline of the fish production and the fish population This has been documented in the various part of the Europe and North America. In the Norway, thousand of the lake and stream they have a largely lost their fish population over to area of thirty three thousand square kilometer. There is an important point here. Several lake is a stream in the United States and the Canada has become a biologically distorted to during to the last quarter century. this process of effect of the acid rain on the forest are not a clear understood evidence however to the show that it is a responsible for the forest is is a die back which is occurring in the each continent the forest is a die back is a green gray mass world is a chim in all death or decline of the forest even to the buildings and the momentum of began destroying the because as its deposition has accelerated is a it is an a capacity the acid rain is a serious global problem and it is a impact can be spread over long distance from to the origin of the pollutant and that is a scandinavians or countries complain about their british pollution in the europe whereas the canada is a blame united state of northern america there is an important point the next topic is the most important here sustainable development there is a most important point here sustainable development today the world has has made a lot of progress human being with the help of the technical 
एडवांसमेंट एंड द कंजप्शन ऑफ द एनर्जी सोर्स हैड मेड अ मेनी इन्वेंशन एंड डिस्कवरीज टू द मेक देयर लाइफ मोर एंड मोर कंफर्टेबल देर इज एन इंपोर्टेंट पॉइंट हेयर देर इज इन्वेंशन एंड द डिस्कवर टू द मेक देयर लाइफ मोर एंड मोर कंफर्टेबल अ प्रजेंट विदाउट अ टेक्नोलॉजी एंड द मिनरल्स एंड पावर डिस वॉज वी कैन नॉट थिंक अबाउट देयर इज अ लाइफ It has entered in the large scale is almost every sector to be agriculture industry transport communication and domestics have we ever thought that how it is affect the life on the earth there is a most important question here have we ever thought that how to affect of the life on the earth even the situation the such that our ecological is dangerous if we continue in the fashion most of the mineral and power resources will be consumed within the next 100 year estimates say that is a fact and the endangerous of four component of the ecosphere this is a climatic system of the hydrological cycle and nutritional cycle and the biodiversity this situation has a position there is the extent that of the resources which are the consider is renewable has become a more non renewable let us example this with the one example take of the yamuna water is daily we have a polluted with the water such extent that is a it aquatic life mostly fish is found in their water with a daily li likely and this water cannot be a consume never there a treatment it has also fed the plant and their product there is a question arise what is the use for the water would be could not be used through the renewable some is the case with the air soil etc due to the careless and selfish action of the human beings there is an important point here due to careless and selfless action of the human being and these natural resources are degraded to such as extent to the become a non renewable it put a question mark on the development itself does it mean that the world community need to be put a full stop for further developments and this is not all the possible this is a dilemma is a polluted to the entire human kinds a consequence of what was a, a made to the address their particular problem i a commute was a for me to that nation under to the chair manship on the m of norway prime, prime minister goro is harel bretland and this is a commission was not the united nation commission on the environment and development is a uncd a property is a broad land is a commission that is important here the little of the report prepared to the commission is over common future in the beginning their world has developed divided into two groups developed and the developing countries and started is blaming each other developed country is a blame to developing country for the rep rapidly population is a growth po poverty and promote the technology which lead to the pollution The agreement of development country was the extravagant lifestyle of developed country put a lot of pressure on the exciting resource but after a lot of heated is a discussions and agreement it was felt that there is would be a some common ground in which all the world should be agree to protect it for a future it was felt that there should be a balance between ecology economics and technology and there is a brown land commission defined to the stable of development as the meeting the need of the present generation without a compromising to the ability of future generation to meet their own needs the next year stands all to adopt to the sustainable development there is an important point here and some state there are given below to the chief men suitable de sustainable development here the first year The revenue growth, the revenue growth stable development must be addressed to issue of poverty. There is the issue of poverty. The poverty increases the pressure on the environment by the flowing lifestyle, the degraded to environment. For example, forest cutting for the fuel use are expanding, desert by the overgrazing activity. At the same time, there are the helpless, as there is and do not have an alternate source of the live. Food. The majority of people living below poverty line are found to the Africa and Asia. The effort should be made to the provide them to contain alternative like skill, training, education, etc., so that they can be earn to livelihood and come out of poverty. 
अदरवाइज देर एवरी पर्पज ऑफ स्टेबिलिटी एंड स्टेबल डिवेलपमेंट विल बी फोर फेटेड बिकॉज एज अ लॉन्ग एज अ पॉवर्टीज विल बी देअ द पुअर पीपल विल बी डिपेंड अपॉन टू द नेचर फॉर देर सर्वाइव देर इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट सेकेंड इयर इज शर्निंग दबल लेवल ऑफ पॉपुलेशन टूडे वन ऑफ द मेजर चैलेंज इज टू बी टैकल देर हाई हाइएस्ट रेट ऑफ पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ एक्सपेशली इन अफ्रीका साउथ एशिया इज द मिडल ईस्ट एंड एक्सपेंशन ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन हैज डायरेक्ट लिंक विद द क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ द पैरामीटर लाइक एसेस टू द एजुकेशन हेल्थ हाउसिंग सेफ ड्रिंक वाटर एंड सैनिटेशन एज मीन टू द लिवहुड इट पुट अ लॉट ऑफ स्ट्रेस ऑन द गवर्नमेंट टू प्रोवाइड टू एडिशनल फैसिलिटी विद द पॉपुलेशन इज इंक्रीजिंग रैपिडली The next point here meeting extremely human needs there is an important point here this is the pre required for the real growth it is evident that is unless the basic needs are satisfied then visually is ca can not be participate in the growth of process initially human need to include of enough food adequate housing fresh water supply and the health facility more food and the quality food should be provided because this this is a not just to feed people but their attack under to the nourishment and to be development immune system for preventing disease the next year changing the quality of growth there is important point changing the quality of growth there is a need to be change the orientation of growth when we say growth be away means economical growth are metallistic of growth but there is a need for the making growth less metallistic and less energy intensive and more equitable economic and social development have to be a actually reinforcing in other words the economical development should be pay of attention to what to better social development like uh, education health sanitation etc as soon as the social development can be boost the economics the area region and country the next year conserving and the enhancing their resource base there are the moral as well as the economical agreement of this the moral <coughs> agreement that we have to preserve to the resource, resource for the substance of next generation but similarly there we have a sea economical agreement also the economical agreement is that we cannot say to be a poor people that is the most we remind in a poverty to protect the environment on the other side there is a need to be challenge there are consumerize of the development country and through the flowing pro capitalist and economical system somewhere the process of liberalization privatization and globalization must be answer the problem of inequality only meet the basic human needs of common people the challenge is the sustainability is that how we is a conserve resource without a give preference the growth and equal access to be resource for a live hood especially there is a need to be find out alternative or non renewable source more efficient use of resource discovery of new resource and discover of low waste technology is important here reorienting techn technology and managing risk there is an important point here reorienting techniques and the managing risk care the application of the hope five struggles are there for their orientation of technology is the two principles be the first the capacity for the invention need to be a greatly enhanced in developing country second the effort by the developing country must play a vital role as far as the transfer of technology is a con concerned therefore all the technological development must be pay of greater attention to the environmental factor and this is a closely linked to the issue of risk management where in the environmental impact has to be effective immunized there is an important point here and the next year margins environmental and economical are discussion making the economical and ecology should not be a seen in the opposition but the in interlocking a uh, sustainable development required there are unification of economics and ecology in international relation